Hello, and welcome to our lesson on identifying lines of best fit. We're going to plot the remaining three points in this scatter graph, and then we're going to find the line of best fit. So our first point is at 45 and 90, which is 45 across and 190 up. Then we have 50 and 215. And finally, 60 and 240. So these are the remaining points. Now we're going to estimate the line of best fit. It should show as many points above the data as it does below it. And it just shows the trend of the points. To describe this trend in context, we would say as our age increases, our reaction time flows. And we can use our line of best fit to estimate the reaction time for a 42 year old adult. We draw a vertical line on the x-axis to the line of best fit at 42 years old. And then we draw a horizontal line to the reaction time And you can see a 42 year old is likely to have a reaction time of about 200 milliseconds. And we can estimate the age of a person whose reaction time is 180 seconds. This time we draw a horizontal line at 180. Then we go down from our graph to the x axis. And you can see that it's likely to be a 25 year old. Okay, let's try one more question. So do you want to attempt this question yourself by making a copy of a grid on squared paper? And then you can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, to plot the remaining points, we'll plot the point 2.2 .2 and 25. 2.3 and 20 and 3.4 and 18. Before we do question B, it's important to think about this point here. Because it's so far away from the rest of the data, we can consider this value to be an outlier. So now we can draw a line of best fit, remembering it shows the trend of the data with as many points above as below the line. And for question C, estimate the average mass per gallon for a car with a 1.5 litre engine. We can draw a vertical line at 1.5 litres. A horizontal line from where it crosses the line of best fit. And you can see this is likely to be 44 miles per gallon and finally for question d estimate the size of the engine for a car that uses 42 gallons per mile we can draw a horizontal line at 42 to the line of best fit or a vertical line going down and you can see this is likely to be 1.6 liters okay Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.